Good day everyone and welcome back for another stream. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are. So when we last left off, we met the one and then we killed him <laughs> because he decided to kill us. I'm sure we'll need these ship parts. So there's not really an easy way to just get through this area without killing absolutely everyone. And we're going to kill everyone because we're going to need to loot the place as well. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get through it somehow, I think. I think I'll get through the guilt. And these guys are barely sentient. They, they don't even speak basic. You know? Oh, so much good loot. Oh my word. Well, I don't even know if it's all good, but it's just a lot of loot. And it's really nice. You know, this is how an RPG should be, you know? There's plenty of loot. Oh, so good. So good. Damn it. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of nice goodies. It's like Christmas. What's the Star Wars equivalent of Santa Claus? Hmm. Oh, the Star Wars holiday special. <laughs> I know. Grown you, you have saved me from the savages and their war beasts. Who are you? I am one of the elders, the others remaining the other remaining tribe of Ricardo on this island. The tribe you have fought has attempted to destroy us and seize our secrets to gain access to the temple of the ancients. Thus far, they have failed. Temple of the ancients? The temple to the east of here, the largest structure on the island. You should speak with the council of our tribe. They may be able to help you for what you have done for me. Thank you for saving me. I shall attempt to return to the enclave on my own. I will tell the council of what you have done. Oh, dude, I haven't slaughtered them all yet. Oh, he's going to die in the way. Oh, there's a guy right there. He's going to get destroyed. Oh, okay. Let's hope he's okay. Because we need to save that guy to allow the other guys to let us into their base. So we can kill them. I mean, gain their knowledge and loot. Okay. I think this is our last level. And what are we going to do? Wisdom or strength or dexterity? Oh, I'm going to go for wisdom. Why? Probably because I'm an idiot. <clears throat> Feats. Oh, master conditioning. That's good. Damn, we haven't had a feat in a while. But... <clears throat> Ooh, I'm gonna get, get master conditioning. Awesome immunity, that is very good. Especially for fights against Jedi, which we'll be having a lot of from now on. I hope I somehow get another level. <laughs> There's still more things that I want. Damn, Joe Lee doesn't even have like full toughness. Hey, strange German. How's it going? Yes, okay. Has it has it been a little cooler lately? Or is it still hot? Oh, that's good. It's been a little cooler. Cool. You had a massive thunderstorm, the rain cooled it down a lot. Awesome. Not overcast, as it should be in Germany. I mean, I actually have no idea, but hey, I'm assuming. <laughs> Did I just assume your country's weather? Oh my word, that was very rude of me. Oh well. <laughs> Oh crap, I'm dropping tons of frames. <laughs> Another guy's trying to flank Jolie. Boom! Force wave. 
There we go. Loot? No? Okay. We are primitive. Can we find the torchlight? Oh, nice. Did you get your goal? Oh, I was speed gunning it. Can't remember what it was. Not yet. Okay. I'll be at about three runs. Damn. <laughs> it took me like 10 hours to finish the game. Maybe even more. Come on. No loot, damn. Damn. That's getting slaughtered. I love it. I mean, it's all in self-defense. Well, this entire species goes extinct. It's because of... Um, they were attacking me first, you know? Your personal best is about 40 minutes in game time. Your goal is at least sub-30. Damn. That's insane. Like, 40 minutes to me is like nothing in a game. <laughs> I could just like... Chill and do something and like, oh, okay, cool, I built a chest or something. It's paying your room for improvement? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you know what you need to improve, so that helps. Partially you can pay better, partially you can get more lucky. Yeah, that's always a thing as well. Especially with the longer speed runs. Oh, okay. Hey, these guys are so nice in the middle of the ones arena. And now I just have no loot anymore. Cheap. Yeah, I honestly prefer shorter runs in pain. Okay. I just like to chill. And if it takes long, that's fine. And if it doesn't, oh well. <laughs> as long as I'm having fun. I think my run is much more likely to be great than a three hour one. Probably, yeah. Oh, see you now. I'm just gonna restart my stream. Okay. Got something on you. Yeah, I would ask him about this world, but he hasn't really been out in space in like 20 years. So, I doubt he knows much. He probably freaking almost had a heart attack when he saw another ship. Ah, go. That guy hasn't even fallen to the ground. And I've started looting already. Alright guys. Okay, I should be back. I'm just hoping restarting the stream helped a bit. Yeah, sorry about that. And it doesn't look like it's helped at all. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh well. I mean, I'm sure we can deal with 10% drop frames. Ah, welcome back. I'm back too. <laughs> Ooh, we get to slaughter some rancors. And finding rankles is always fun. 
Even though I'm probably gonna use the same tactic for every single thing here. Mr. Lost thing, as you said, I'm you seem I forgot, yep. That's correct. Good assumption. I highly doubt it was important. Watch out for that Kiska! He's gonna blow! This game has no mind control power. No. The, the beast one. That's my next game. Wait, I might get dark side points if I kill the Gizka. We can't leave him, he's dangerous. Oh, I can't do anything. Okay. Fine. Well, at least there's a lot more room for the other builders to expand into. Oh, Jolie's almost dead. Haha, <laughs> noob. Let's -a go. At this rate, I don't even know if we need mission, but hey, she's here. We're better off or worse, and let's be honest, it's probably for the worse. Oh wait, we bought it for the mines. I remember. Okay. I actually had a reason. I'm not gonna lie, Mission is actually doing pretty well with her blasters back there. Oh, almost missed that. Temple exterior? Not yet. I don't think there's anything actually down this way. Besides the view. Ah, there we go. Nice relaxing view. But there's no like sit command or something. Slash meditate. Yes, if I remember correctly, there are Mandalorians slash suicide. No, that's not relaxing. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Rancors are a big deal. Yeah, I just got one shot at It's very relaxing until rigor mortis sets in, sure. What? And you need? What? Yes? Okay, so don't take Rancor's lightly. Got it. And I hope that's probably how our fight with Malik is gonna go. What is? Um. Even Luke struggled to kill one of these. These are juveniles, aren't they? Uh, no, they're not. Okay. They are a lot smaller. Luke is almost as strong as Ray. <laughs> yep. Run! Uh, Jelly, can you actually like stun these guys? Yes. Yeah. 
There we go. What? Nice. Yes? Take that! Our mission is destroying these guys. Damn. It's acting 20 something damage per hit. It's actually pretty insane. They really did make blasters more viable in the months, so I guess that's what they're talking about. It's pretty cool. Having an A blaster wielding Jedi is awesome. It's just still not as cool as a lightsaber wielding one. I guess you get people like Ezra who have the gun slash lightsaber kind of thing. Also, definitely pretty useless in the base game, yeah. But yeah, missions like taking out rancors and stuff. I'm almost jealous. Okay, there's probably a bunch of Mandalorians here. I'm just gonna do another save, whatever. <laughs> These Mandalorians always destroy me. But I got false wave, so I'll be fine. Hopefully. Oof. Reminds me of my fight back on Dan to win. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Um, do you remember taking 8k47 with you, but he was playing for comic relief? Yeah. No, man. Mission's poison. Let's heal around. Oh. Ooh, power shields, that's good. Is that all they had though? No, there's a bit more. Um ooh, Mandarin head and oh that's cool. Kind of tempted to give it to Mission, yes. actually. Yeah. But it's probably heavy armor and she can't. She's still got a combat suit, whoops. <laughs> yeah, it needs heavy armor. Okay. Um I mean this is a little better. Awareness plus eight, demolitions plus four, wow. Let's give it that for now. It wasn't even equipped and she was doing all that damage. I'm impressed. Yes? I thought I decked her out already with stuff. Oh well. Not the first time I missed something, but it won't be the last. No! Don't go into the light! <laughs> Is Jolie gonna be our Giska? Hmm. What? You need? Let's turn solo mode on. Um, just to make sure we don't accidentally set things off. Or at least try and prevent it. Ah, 
Jeez, 50 damage. Wow. Oh my word. Mission. <laughs> You're standing inside the vicinity of the whatever. Trigger radius. Cool. I think that's all we really needed her for. What? I oh, will we'll keep her around. She's been doing pretty well. And Rancor. It's an ambush. Run away. Oh, Sailor Murder's still on. Of course. Run away! <laughs> Why aiming at me, mission? <laughs> She's about to shoot me. Damn. Says she trusts me in one breath and she points both of her blasters at me in the second. I'd like to investigate that ship. That looks amazing. Meanwhile, mind swimming, sweeping. Ah, oh, crap. Can't pull. SFW, let's see. What is this? <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Can you get jelly one of those? You are not Ricardo. What is your business here, off world then? Who are you? We are the others, and you will answer our question. Who are you, and why have you come? I am Revan. You? You are Revan. That's wishes to speak with you. You may enter. Hmm, this looks fun. Oh no, I tripped. <laughs> Damn. Can I can I get forced lightning like that? Because that seems pretty insane. Well then, thank you. We are the other council did not expect to see you again, Revan. We thought you had betrayed us. Why have you returned to our village after all this time? I spoke to you once before. What did I want? Is this some type of test, Revan? Some kind, some type of trick? He came seeking our aid. He came in search of a way to enter the Temple of the Ancients. He came to be seeking a way to destroy the Star Forge, and we were foolish enough to believe you. I don't worry true nature, we helped you enter the Temple. But you betrayed us, Revan. Instead of destroying the terrible legacy of our ancestors, you unleashed the evil of the Star Forge upon an unsuspecting galaxy. And now that you stand before the Council of Elders once more, and once more, we ask you, for what reason have you returned, Revan? <laughs> uh, I need to get into the temple so I can destroy the Star Forge. <laughs> Do you think we are fools, Revan? Do you think we have forgotten how you lied to us last time? Why should we believe you now? My mind was destroyed. All my memories were lost. It changed me. I am not who I once was. They say that the experiences of our past define us and make us what we are. If it is true you have lost your memories, perhaps you are changed. But how are we to know this is not some trick, Revan? I rescued one of your tribe from the one... Well, yes, your actions seem to show you to be an ally of our cause. But how can we be certain the rescue was not just an attempt to win our trust so you can exploit us? We must discuss this in greater detail. We must have some privacy, Revan. We'll return when our deliberations are done. I mean, I can just put my hands over my ears and you can talk. Revan, you have rescued a member of our tribe from the one great personal risks yourself. We believe his action shows you have truly changed since your last visit here. 
The council has decided we will trust you once more. For many generations, the sort of ways to enter the temple and discover the means to destroy the Starforge. But only those who can command the Force, those like you, can enter the temple of the Ancients. You no longer have that power. That was why we helped you the last time you were here. But you cannot enter the temple without our help, Revan. Only the ancient rituals of our people can lower the shield for you to enter. You need us as much as we need you, Revan. Those eyes seem singularly impractical. Yes, they do. Looks like we'll be working together then. For our own sake and that of the entire galaxy, we hope you truly mean to atone for your past evils. When you are ready, Revan, we will take you to the temple. But the temple is a place of great of sacred power. If you are to enter, you must do so alone, in a tradition followed by our Rakata ancestors for the past thousand generations. I'm not going to the temple without help. When you were last here, we broke the ancient tradition. We allowed you and your apprentice to enter the temple together, and it brought untold suffering upon the galaxy. You believe you truly wish to destroy the Star Forge this time, but the lesson of the past is not easily forgotten. We will not defile the sacred ritual a second time, and you alone may enter. <sighs> when I am ready, I will go into the temple alone. Then it is done. You may have only to let us know when you are ready to enter the temple. I want to ask you some questions. We will tell you what we can, Reverend. I have questions about you, your tribe, your history, the temple. You should speak to Ozra, the Keeper of History. He is located near the Great Computer on the far side of the Ara Enclave. But I will do my best to answer your questions. Tell me about your tribe. We are the Elders. Our ancestors were the priests of the Infinite Empire, the Guardians of the Temple, and the Keepers of Technology. After the Warlords unleashed their weapons of mass destruction and devastated the world, our ancestors knew we could never allow such technology to be used again. We seal the knowledge of destruction within the temple, and for the past thousand generations we have kept vigil here, ensuring the knowledge has not fallen into the wrong hands. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Ozra, the Keeper of History. I have more questions about your history. I want to learn more about the history of the Rakata Empire. Our history is a long one, but it's also one filled with bloodshed and sorrow. Once the Rakata ruled all the known galaxy, but our empire was destroyed by our own corruption. If you wish to know more about this, blah blah blah. What do you know about the other Rakata here? There is only one other group of Rakata on this island, the tribe of the One. They would slaughter us if they could, hoping to unlock the secrets hidden away in the temple. Have you tried reasoning with the One? When the One first arrived on this island, we sent emissaries under a flag of truce to try and negotiate with his tribe. But all our envoys were brutally slaughtered. We do have the technology to destroy the One and his followers, but if we kill them all, we will only prove that we have learned nothing of the past 20,000 years. The one is mad with power. We choose not to fight him. So our only course of action is to stay here in isolation where we are safe. This will here just as we have done for the past 20,000 years. We should know more about to speak to Azura again. Okay. Um, what do you know about the Temple of the Ancients? The temple is a sacred place, but also a place of great danger. Within its walls, the terrible secrets of our ancestors have been locked away. Oops. I did not see that. Last bit. We ourselves can no longer enter the temple, Revan. Revan, where? Yeah. We don't have the power of the Force, but she can enter with our help. If you wish to know more about this, speak to Azra. You know how to disable the disruptor field that caused my ship to crash? The disruptor field is one of the ancient defenses of the Starforge. A great generator within the temple of the ancient fuels it. We'll have to enter the table, temple to disable it. Okay, I will be back when I'm ready to enter the temple. As you wish, come speak to us when you're ready to enter the temple, and we will lower the shield for you. But remember, when the time comes, you must enter the temple alone, in accordance with the traditions of the ancient Ricardo. Hmm. Lunch time! Um. The story is speaking a language you don't recognize. <laughs> wow, that's awful. So why do they have a joy that doesn't speak the lang same language as they do? Hmm. 
The wrath of the Rakata will come to see you all. If we survive, you will all know the wrath of the Rakata. The one will not let the elders live. Yeah, he doesn't have much choice in that anymore. Our work is the most important one undertaken by our people. The future of our tribe rests with us. Only through our experiments and analysis there can our people hope to regain our past. You have returned at last, Raven. I was beginning to wonder what happened to you in the temple. You know me? We had met previously when Nasty entered our enclave many years ago. He injured inquired as to my research then as well. He came here and gained access to the temple, and we never heard from him again. Some thought she might have betrayed us to the others, but they were never able to penetrate our defenses. But if you will help us now, then the time taken is nothing. Is there anything else you require? What are you doing? What am I doing? You mean the purpose of my research here? What is your research? As you may have heard from our historians, in our distant past we meld with technology and the force to create fully wondrous effects. We guided ships across the galaxy using our power and incorporated its use into all aspects of our society. But something happened somewhere. What happened? There are a variety of theories on what happened. Perhaps we became immune to the effects of the force from overuse. Perhaps our breathing habits rendered our species insensitive to it over time. None truly know. The only discernible result was that we could no longer command the forces we had. Its power had escaped us. With its loss, our technologies could no longer hold us far above the subjugated races we ruled, and our empire began to crumble. The races we subjugated rose up, they swept the world, we could do nothing against all these calamities. In the end, only the members of our race left here, and our home world survived. So what is your research then? Every once in a while, there is an individual born who has an affinity for the Force, maybe not the ability to use it directly, but at least the ability to remain open to it. I believe this is a sign that whatever genes our species had that gave us had that gave us the ability to use the Force not completely gone. Perhaps when the ancestors of the current tribes fed beneath the surface, some retained this trait. We have been working for years to isolate this gene in an attempt to resurrect it in our species as well. We of the elders not have force sensitivity ourselves, but by harnessing the genetic structure of other tribes, we hope to be able to breed the gene back into our species. You're capturing prisoners for their genes? You make us seem like monsters. Truly, we are not. No. We capture them, yes, but only because the tribes have become extremely xenophobic in the millennia trapped on this world. They will not raid us, aid us willingly, and kill the messengers when we ask. We believe that if we get a large enough genetic sample, we can reintroduce the recessive force sensitive genes back into our people, allowing us to once again access the heritage of our past. Heritage? You mean the M temple? Yes, the temple. It can only be entered by those sensitive to the force, so it has been barred to us for ages. What we may find inside will allow us to lift the other tribes out of the barbarism into which they have fallen and restore as a productive force in the galaxy. You think they're coming on to me? Maybe. Because <laughs> they want my genes, I guess. Um... You're trying to restore your empire, aren't you? No, we do not want to fall down the path that so twisted our people before. This time perhaps we can redeem ourselves in the eyes of the galaxy and become a force of good. How close are you to finishing your research? We are quite far along, having had centuries to work already, but with the arrival of another tribe on our island, we have been restricted in our movements to just our enclave. We have captured a few of their warriors, but the one that really interests us is their leader, the one. Oh, yeah, about him. The <laughs> one what's special about him? Those are the genes we seek seem to be marked. Marked with the destiny that causes them to rise above others as we did as a species early on. In hearing the stories his warriors tell of the one, we believe that he may hold some of the genes we seek. He may be nearing false sensitivity. Unfortunately, he and his people are much too aggressive and violent for us to ever get close enough to study him. His corpse will not do either, as only a living working body is of use to us. Maybe in time though, the differences between our peoples will lessen enough that we may study one another and gain the information we need. Whoops. So I probably shouldn't have slaughtered them all at the beginning. I completely forgot about this. Oh well. What kind of information do you need?
Genetic data on drifts and changes of the many millennia we have been here. Specific data on exceptional individuals. If only we had access to the knowledge of our ancestors, they must have known much, much more than us. They had a much greater population sample to work with. I believe that in a temple there may be the information we seek, perhaps in old archives or scrolls, maybe even an ancient computer if any is still functioning, maybe even in an ancient computer. This information would help us greatly in our work, and we will be very grateful to you for it. Is there anything else I can help you with? What do you know about the temple? It is ancient that we know, and it is guarded by advanced technology that only force sensitive races can penetrate. Recently, we have seen ships coming and going from it, some that are designed to ones that came at about the same time you did many years ago. Other than that, we do not know, although we would dearly like to find out. Is there anything else I can help you with? I have to go. Very well then, come and go as you please. Yeah, whoopsie. I mean, we could have just probably negotiated a bit of a peace between them, but there's no peace like you get from completely dominating one tribe and destroying them. I'm pretty sure the Force wanted me to kill them all for some reason. You never know. Technically, it means peace, exactly. No opposition. How's it? Can you not get me a coffee then? And their speaking is so like um peaceful. Be very sleepy. Keeper Oz Orsa. Oh yeah, I thought it was Ozra. Maybe that's a typo? Greetings once again, Revan. I'm glad she have returned. I couldn't believe that she had betrayed us, despite what the Consul said. Who are you? My name is Osa. I am a keeper of history for the Elders. The last time you were here, we had, you had many questions for me. The Council told us all of the destruction of your memories, but still, I had hoped you might recall something of our past discussion. I wish I could remember, but I don't. Sorry. There's no need to apologize. It just pains me to know that all you had learned from me has been forgotten. Still, I'd be happy to instruct you again. Actually, I do have a few questions for you. Yes, of course. Although you must forgive me, some of this starts to seem familiar. After all, we did get into the history of the Ricarda at some length the last time you were here. I'll do my best to enlighten you with the knowledge I hold. What subject do you wish to learn about? Tell me about the beginnings of the Ricarda Empire. Long ago, we Ricarda were a great spacefaring people. Our ships combined technology and the power of the Force, and we were able to pilot them to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Everywhere we went, we found civilizations less advanced and weaker than our own, but instead of helping them advance, we conquered and enslaved them. Ah, I missed that last part. Um... Everywhere we went, we found civilizations, yeah? Back then, we could still command the force. That combined with our advanced technology made our march of conquest irresistible. Soon, the infinite empire stretched across the entire galaxy. Over time, we lost our ability to use the force. Some believe we had used the force for so long that we evolved biologically and became immune to its effects. In any case, once we lost our sensitivity to the Force, our empire began to fracture. We had to revert to more conventional space travel using inferior technology. Our ultimate collapse was inevitable. How the Ricardo Empire collapse? Long ago, the Ricardo ruled all the known galaxy. All the species bowed down to us, but we were a corrupt people, and in our fall from glory there are terrible lessons that must be learned. The infant empire was built on slaughter. It was inevitable it would collapse upon itself. War, plague, and slave rebellion forced us to retreat back here to our hidden homeworld. Here, conflicts among power-hungry warlords escalated into full civil war. Terrible weapons of mass destruction were unleashed, unleashed driving most of the Ricardo far beneath the earth